One solution that was put into operation at Hanningfield Reservoir turned out to be highly controversial. Here's the top story in a news bulletin from 1997. A water company in Essex has caused outrage after admitting that it's pumping processed sewage into the drinking water supply. 400,000 households in the south of the county are currently receiving water from a reservoir that contains up to 5% waste. The effluent is pouring into Hanningfield Reservoir near Wickford. It's then processed and pumped through the taps of homes in Basildon, Southend and Romford. So Martin, was it a case then of your company treating consumers as though they were guinea pigs and just trying out something new on them? No, we weren't trying out something new. It wasn't particularly novel because in the south of England, water's been reused from sewage works for over 100 years. I think what the public didn't like, and we've now appreciated, is that we put the water directly into the reservoir Although that had no public health implications, it certainly had public perception implications. And when you say it's been done in the south of England for a long time, you mean exactly as you were doing it in that time of drought, straight back into the reservoir? Well, it's a geographical fact that most towns are up on the upper reaches of rivers, so when they've used the water, the sewage effluent goes into the rivers, and nearly all abstraction of water is at the bottom end of rivers. So when we're taking water out of the rivers anyway in the south of England, in a very dry year, up to 60% may be treated effluent. Claire, you're the arbiter on all this. Was that drinking water safe? Definitely. Um, as Martin said, in the south, not just the south, in other parts of the country as well, if you're abstracting water from a lowland river for drinking water purposes, it's going to have a percentage of sewage effluent in it. It's, it's bound to. Um, but the treatment has to be suitable to match it. And with the combination of ozone, which is a, a very strong disinfectant as well as, as very good at removing organics at the front end of the works, and then a touch of chlorine at the back end, the disinfection process would have been more than capable of dealing with any bacteria, viruses present in the water. So, yes, that water would be perfectly safe to drink. So, Martin, if the water really was all right, as Claire said, it must at the very least then have been a, a failure in public relations. I think we certainly learnt that when we came to building a permanent scheme, the public were not happy with it going directly into the reservoir. When we've actually planned the permanent scheme, we now put the water into a river prior to it going into the reservoir, and all the public concern seems to have evaporated. What did you tell them before you started on the process that we just saw on the film? Well, I think we've learnt how to talk to the public better since then. I think what we did, we informed people, we put out information, but we didn't really consult with people. How and did I, you put the information out? How did it reach them? We spoke to, we put out uh, press releases to local newspapers and we spoke on local radio, but that was really us telling people what we were going to do, not talking them to beforehand, asking them what they would like us to do. <laughs>